Uh, I read the letter from INEC and they quoted the relevant sections of the law that gives them the right uh, to say what they said. I also read the, chair, uh, the letter from the national chairman in a response to the letter from INEC. And uh, what the chairman said, I have a little disagreement with uh, what the national chairman said. Uh, I believe, knowing who he is and what he stands for, uh, I want to believe he is being misled, maybe by the committee that went to Zamfara uh, to conduct the elections. Uh, what I can say as a stakeholder that was present throughout the process, that witnessed every aspect of the process, uh, there was no elections in Zamfara up to 12 midnight of Sunday, 7th uh, October 2018. There was also no consensus from anybody or by anybody. There was no consensus. So if the committee report, uh, reports to the National Working Committee that they made concession, uh, consensus, or some people did, then that is absolutely wrong. And uh, I always stand on the side of truth. I have always said it. Uh, that is the path I have chosen for myself. I want to say the truth even if it affects me or even if it is against me. I am an APC member to the core. That is why I'm still with the APC uh, even when the chances are becoming uh, bleak, maybe for me as a politician uh, to participate in the elections. But I believe in the party. I believe in its leadership. But then, if they do anything wrong, I think I should have the courage to say that this is wrong. Uh, if the party has any window within the law, to fill the candidates, I will be the happiest. But when such decisions are based on wrong foundations, then I have a duty as a Nigerian and as a senator for, uh, of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to say so. So let us address the issues the way they are. <clears throat> if INEC has the powers to do or to say what they said, uh, what they say should be respected. Then we look at other options available. Now, if the party has some arguments to make, they should be allowed to do so, but not to base the decisions on something that can be uh, contested and defeated. Uh, we are going into elections, so the desire of every politician is to win and to win threat without litigations, because litigations uh, divert attentions, uh, they are a waste of resources, and so on and so forth. Uh, I would not want to see uh, one happening to me. So by and large, what I'm trying to say is, the only thing I saw wrong in the letter is the assertion that uh, there was consensus. There was no consensus. Uh, both at the gubernatorial level, uh, we are nine. I know some stepped down. Uh, there was a former federal permanent secretary, Engineer Abu Magaji, stepped down. Uh, I think the Minister of Defense, I think, uh, stepped down too. Uh, the deputy governor also stepped down, I think leaving about five contestants. And there was no consensus between the five until the close of primaries by seven. Uh, we have uh, some senatorial candidates from both divides. The committee really tried. They tried very, very much to bring about consensus, being members of APC2. But the two factions cannot agree. And that is the truth. They didn't agree. House of Representatives, too, there are contestants from both divides. And they too could not agree. So also the House of uh, Assembly members. So <clears throat> what I'm trying to say is this. 
if you force any consensus or say that there was one, now there is going to be revolt. The people would say that, uh, yes, I have not conceded to anybody. And they have a right to go to court and contest that. And I don't want to see that happen. But if under the law, the APC has a right to field in candidates, then they should go ahead and do it without recourse to either election or consensus. Let us get one thing clear and correct, that there was no election, no consensus. So what does the law say when uh, such happens? And uh, let us base our arguments from there. So if APC uh, has the right to field candidates uh, without these two issues, then so be it. We should be allowed to field the candidates. But if we cannot because we didn't have consensus or election, then that means we cannot. And uh, any attempt, you know, to make it uh, look otherwise or to do uh, otherwise, I think will only put the uh, party in a more precarious uh, situation, which I think is, uh, is abo uh, avoidable. So if we are not allowed to do it, uh, we look at other options, like I said. Uh, those that don't want uh, or don't have any option, uh, we can stay around for another four years and uh, we learn uh, the other side of uh, <laughs> uh, politics.